Hello, this is Daniel Please, and my name is Daniel, and welcome to yet another Minecraft video. As you may be able to tell from the title of this video, Optifine for 1.16.1 has just been released. That's right, you can now play Minecraft 1.16.1 with things like connected textures, shader packs and stuff like that, and overall, of course, way better FPS. So in this video, I'm gonna show you really quickly how to install Optifine for Minecraft 1.16.1. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So to install Optifine, I already have the shortcut here, but just to show you guys how it actually works, what you're gonna wanna do is go to optifine.net or just search for Optifine in Google, that also works. Then hit enter, and there we go. This is the official website. This is the website for Optifine. If it looks any different, it's not the right website, so don't download it from any other website than this website. What you're gonna wanna do is go over to downloads right here, and of course, the official release for 1.16.1 is not available just yet, not even for 1.15.2 as you can see. The latest version here is 1.14.4 still, but what you're going to want to do is click preview versions here, and as you can see, this is Optifine 1.16.1. And what you want to do now is just click download. You'll be redirected to this ad page, but don't worry about this too much. After 5 seconds, a skip button appears and just click that. So this is actually the download page for Optifine for Micro 1.16.1. Just click this link right here. I do want to note that you should close this tab as soon as possible directly after you click this link because it might uh, redirect to different ad pages and you don't want that. Just like that. And then in the bottom left corner here, you're going to see Preview Optifine. Of course, Google Chrome is going to give you a warning because it does not like .jar files, but .jar files are just Java files. Minecraft is written in Java, that's why we call it the Java Edition, so this file is perfectly harmless, and we can just click Keep here. Now after that, what you're going to want to do is launch Minecraft. Make sure you have the latest release selected, which is 1.16.1, and then just click Play. Now I understand you may think, why on earth would you do this? But you have to install or at least play Minecraft 1.16.1 one time before you can install Optifine. Minecraft has finished downloading itself, I guess, and now all we gotta do is just click Quit Game. Now let's get back to Google Chrome or whichever browser you use to download Optifine. So make sure to just click this file and this pop up, this installer should pop up, and then all you've got to do is just click install. Now it may freeze for a few seconds like it did for me, but then it should give you this pop-up that says Optifine is successfully installed. Now let's restart Minecraft and there we go. Optifine for 1.16.1 has now been installed. All you've got to do now is click play. But of course you guys want to play with actual shaders and an actual resource pack that uses Optifine. So I'm going to show you real quick how to download a shader pack and a resource pack that use Optifine and how to install them. So for this tutorial I'm going to be downloading BSL which is a really really cool shader pack. I love BSL personally. I use it for almost everything. So what you're going to want to do is just go over to this website. A link to this will be down in the description as well as a link to Optifine so you don't have to look it up yourself. What you're going to want to do once you go to this link is just click this download button. It will redirect you to CurseForge, but this is an official website, so don't worry about this too much. The downloading will start, and there we go. So I picked Better Vanilla Building for the resource pack because, like it says here, Optifine is recommended because it has some beautiful features that you can only use when using Optifine. So what you're going to want to do is just click download right here. Actually, I will provide you a download link straight to this page because that's easier for you guys. All you've got to do now is click download here. So now that everything has been downloaded, be sure to just click play. So now that Minecraft has launched, just go into options and click either video settings or resource packs. This one is easier and click open pack folder. This will open your Windows Explorer and all you've got to do is, well actually this is already the resource packs folder, so what you're going to want to do is drag over this resource pack into this folder. You don't have to extract it, just put it in there just like that, and then what you're going to want to do is go over to .minecraft, which is right here, and then as you can see it has a folder called shader packs. Now we're going to drag in BSL into shader packs right here, 
as you can see it's right there resource packs better renewal building is right there and now if we go back into minecraft and go into resource packs as you can see there it is that's better vanilla building 2.30 and if we go over to video settings and go into shaders right there we can actually see that we've successfully installed bsl shaders so we have now successfully installed both shaders and a resource pack that uses optifine so this is actually pretty much it to check if your resource pack and your shader pack are actually working just hop into a single player or multiplayer world that is on 1.16.1 and you should see your shader pack and your resource pack. And that's pretty much it. So as you can see, I'm actually using BSL right now in my personal survival series world that I do on this channel, so be sure to check those videos out. But look at how gorgeous this looks right now. This is just beautiful. And look at the connected textures right there, and there's a lot more that I haven't even shown you just yet. Man, I can't wait to start playing Minecraft with shaders. Of course, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you actually did, then of course, be sure to hit that thumbs up. I would sincerely appreciate that. If you want to see more of these kind of videos, be sure to hit that big red subscribe button. And without further ado, I will, of course, catch you in the next one. See ya!